Well, this is the engine of my 2000 Ford Ranger, the pushrod 4 liter V6. And what happened was uh, my, my gauge went pegged out hot. I stopped right away, opened it up, steam coming out. The radiator coolant overflow tank had popped open and sprayed the whole engine with coolant. And I think it's just a thermostat, and that's only eight bucks. So I'm gonna try that first. Um, I did put heads on this and gaskets and all that stuff. I was worried I didn't do that correctly, but I think it's just a thermostat. And it's right there. Uh, I need to remove this pipe and it bolts in. Well, it doesn't bolt in, it's held in right here. And there's this aluminum housing here that has the temperature sensor and sending unit in it. It's just right in between there. So I need to remove the air intake tube to get access to the bolts that hold that tube in. And I'll pull that out and we should be able to get right to it. Okay, there are three things you need to disconnect on your air intake tube to get it off to get to that. Uh, the first one's your mass airflow sensor. That's this connector here. Second is this hole here, which is passive crankcase ventilation. Uh, that just hooks up right to your oil fill neck. It just burns fumes from your uh, engine through, or reburns them. Uh, and this, I believe, is the intake air temp sensor, which is this plug right here. So uh, you just loosen this clamp up and it slides right off. Um, unhook it from your air filter, set it to the side. Uh, three bolts. And this neck comes right up out of the way. As long as you put it up somewhere, water won't run out. And then that, stuck in there, is the thermostat. And it is, uh, it is actually stuck. Um, so yeah, that's gonna have to come out, and an O-ring, and then we'll put a new one in. Okay, got the new one in. Uh, the little relief valve here goes to the top. Then uh, three bolts to put that back in. These are 12 to 18 foot pounds according to the Ford service manual. And you just gotta put uh, air intake back on, fill it up with uh, coolant for some reason, and then uh, take it for a test drive. 